Isn't it amazing how a garden transformation can happen? For me, I was in a fishing boat, minding my own business, watching the floater, waiting for a crappie, and all of a sudden, here is this log, this hollow log, right beside me, beside the boat, and I said, stop the boat. And with a big old grappling hook that you might pick something up, this, at that time, weighed about 100 pounds. It took a male to pick it up. And I brought it home and set it over in the, on a bench and it began to dry out. Well then, all of a sudden, you see what happens? Now I can pick it up. It's amazing how much water had been absorbed into this trunk of this tree. And it was just waiting there for me. I had to come up with a plan about how I'm gonna hold this dirt in this log when I, cause I don't want it to wash away. So, over on my sidewalk behind my greenhouse, I found some moss. And when I get this in place over where its resting place is gonna be, I'm gonna have a rock here. And then I'm gonna lay this moss here to give it some aesthetics there. I think that that will hold the, the soil so it won't wash away. Let's look at the plant selections that I have. First of all, the simple virions are the hen and chicks. And I'll just tell you, this is a true testimony how long this this little hen and chick has been in this pot no less than five years summer winter spring and fall and never died so that just tells you they are a hardy bunch and with that in mind i think that the it doesn't see there's not much soil it's never had enrichment so i think that's the my a really good choice of plants for this log and um these are going to require some sun and so long about 12 or 1 o'clock underneath this blue cedar atlas back here behind me I have some limbs that I've had to cut off and so it does get enough sun there that all of these things will survive now see he just but what's gonna happen this is gonna put out this is the hen and it will put out chicks so let's go get another one now here's one that's um Cosmic candy. Now, isn't that sweet? This has got fuzz on it, but um, and it's about to put out its babies. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take off uh, a little bit of the soil they put on it. But I'm gonna I back up for just a second and tell you that I have got some sand that I'm I wanted to put into this soil too. I think that is will help with the drainage and it'll also make the soil a little bit heavier. I wanted that, and then I want to give it some height back here. I am going to elevate it, and it's when I put it where I want it to be. But anyway, I have me a berm built here, and this is happening before your very eyes because I don't know how this is going to turn out. But it was just a, it was something in my head, and now we're going to make it work. Okay, let's go back to the little cosmic. Let's see what was it? Cosmic candy. Yes. And see, it's gonna, I'm gonna put a little bit of room for it to have, wait, see, these little things are gonna grow. Like, here's one. Here's another one. This one is cotton candy. Isn't that cute? So, see, it's already putting out its little tentacles, I guess you would say, it, its legs and feet, whatever. So, I need to make some space for that. And as I'm looking at my choices here, I'm gonna look to what as in my placement as to what I think is gonna need some of them are larger now here's one that's called gold nugget that is a chartreuse color which is a good color I'm just gonna sort of place these like this for just a second and then I'm gonna leave room for this little lemon coral this is um, a sedum Mexican sedum and placing these plants on some of hardy some are not this one is actually a hardy sedum and it's hardy to zone four so in the winter time this will not be hardy and this will not be hardy and this won't be hardy but this all of the rest of these will so for accent and the color and the plant themselves um, i'm trying to mix them to i want to have a, a good portion of good color and so i'm going to take this probably and put it right here because 
mix these two together. This one is hardy, but this one is not. So that's still a good color combination. And um, keep the low ones sort of to the front like this. And then this is a nice little chocolate ball, it's called. This is hardy. So that, and this little wire vine is just interesting. And I have had this actually come back in the fall, in the spring, I'm so sorry. Now this is a sedum that is hardy and it's rosy colored. So, and it will have a little bloom, but you know, I don't ex like with all plants, when you put things in a container that they sometimes don't grow to their full potential. So I'm gonna keep that in mind with some of these that I put in here. Now that I have my plants pretty much like I want them, I have uh, another hobby, I pick up rocks, but the rocks I wanna incorporate into this are, look like coral. And then these are sort of hot plants. These are gonna enjoy some, you know, hot afternoons. So I have some rocks that I got up out of the creeks. This is coral. And I'm just gonna insert some of these in here. And there's two reasons, because again, I'm packing in some dirt. I don't want my dirt to leave the roots of my plants. And so I just picked up a few as I was thinking about it. And I love a rock where the geode has come out. Anytime you have a rock that's round in the center, and I have some very large ones, large enough that I see the birds drink out of them. And then I call these are vertebrates, I think. But um, I'll just put this one, uh, I'll put this one right down here. But now then, the thing that I haven't incorporated into it, I have a little sedum that is a native sedum that when I was at my the family farm that I got the other day. So this, this is very winter hardy and it'll creep over the edges. So I think I will just put it right here. And this is fully packed now. And I think it's about ready to find a home over here under a tree. Okay, I have a special spot for this in my garden. When I was thinking about this finished product, I wanted it to look like it was in a natural setting. So I, I wanted to add something else with it. So by the use of a container that I have made on one of the first programs uh, about 18 years ago, I'm going to take it and I'm going to incorporate into it some miniature hostas and just give it a theme of outdoor and woodsy and then sun. And so I, I felt like it looks at home where I've placed it underneath this container. I look forward to the changes that I believe I'm going to see in underneath this tree and, and from the use of the afternoon sun and the morning shade, it'll be a nice transformation. For inspiring garden tours, growing tips, and garden projects, visit our website at volunteergardener.org or on YouTube at the Volunteer Gardener channel and like us on Facebook.